Hello beautiful book dragons, I am Aline, welcome to my channel, um, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dragons, welcome to my channel, Pick Me Puff Reads. I am Aline, and here I just talk about books and books and more books. <laughs> and I was tagged in the reread tag, reread habits tag. I'll pop it right here <laughs> by David from David's Book Review. So, thank you so much for tagging me. I will have a link to his channel down below. And as you can probably tell by his channel's name, he has amazing, super detailed and so so well made book reviews so you should totally check it out the link in the description down below so that you can just click it and go subscribe and say hi from me and just like share the love <laughs> so thank you so much for tagging me david uh so let's just get started into this riri tag yay <laughs> i think i mentioned in one of my past videos that i was not free reading as much anymore and I think that's the first question. <laughs> Where do you sit on the reread scale from almost never to all the time? I used to do it all the time and now I am on the almost never. I feel like also my reading taste has evolved and now a book has to be like really, really, really good for me to want to reread it or it has to be really complicated for me to like want to go back and reread to like get more stuff out of it but now i just feel like i want to just read more books and just find new stuff so i just feel like going into the tbr stack instead of to the reread stack but i do want to find more books that i just really just want to reread i feel like that's everyone's goal to find that amazing amazing book that you just want to keep for the rest of your life so <laughs> i am in the middle of the scale i guess i don't know um has that changed over your reading life like i said yes it has changed a lot um i do have a little pile of books that i want to reread like dolores claver by Stephen King. I do reread. I think that's in another question. But yes, I think I go. I already answered that one. Um, when do you reread? Immediately after or years later? Or when the mood strikes? All of the above, really. <laughs> Some books I'm just like, oh my god, that was so intense. I need to reread it. Mostly if it's a complicated read that I feel like I need to go back to it. At least to like read certain parts to be sure that i understand them and most of these books are like non-fiction books things like that or books that are so quotable that i just need to like go back reread those parts and be like my my like have my mind blown all over again <laughs> uh, but sometimes i just want to like put them on the bookshelf they make me very happy to look at them and then suddenly I'm feeling like melancholic and I just grab them and reread them. That happens a lot with The Shining by Stephen King. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 so I see it on my bookshelf. I'm like, oh, that was so, so good. You know, I haven't read that in years. I should probably pick that up. And some other books I reread religiously every single year. So all of the above, really. Why do you reread books? Because they are good. <laughs> <laughs> because I love them. If you love a story so much and you just want to go back to it, like The Lord of the Rings, and you just really, really want to go back and just like hang out with the elves again, <laughs> you can just reread the book and go back to all of these amazing, beautiful places. If you like Hogwarts, you want to go back to Hogwarts, you probably reread the books. And I feel like every single time you read a book, you find new stuff and you're like, oh my god, I cannot believe that I just completely passed through that. Um, before, so I love doing that. How do you reread books? Faster, slow, or just the best beats? I think I just read them faster, I guess, because uh, you already know what's going to happen. You're already familiar with writing style, so for me, it's just like I, I don't like to read little bits unless it's a non-fiction book, and I just I, and I'm just looking for certain information. But most of the time, I just go, like, if it's a nonfiction, especially fantasy, I just want to go and reread the whole thing. And I do think that it goes a little bit faster because, one, I know what's going to happen, and two, I am familiar with the writing style and the characters and all of that. So I feel like it's a faster read for me. What do you reread more specifically? 
like I said, the shining is a bit warm. It's a big one, but that's more like whenever I have the mood, like whenever the mood for it strikes. <laughs> um, but religiously, I read in November, every single November, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings because it's just such a hard, warming experience for me. And I feel like winter is coming. Oh, <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like winter is coming. The cold month is here. I am feeling cold and also i'm feeling like vacations are coming which i really don't need more of this year but you know i just feel the need for it and i just feel so warm and cozy especially the hobbit like just read the first sentence of the hobbit and i just feel warm in my heart and i'm like november december the next year is here like i just it's like a part of my ritual and i enjoy that so much as well as watching the movies i reread the books i rewatch the movies and I'm happy, I'm a happy elf. <laughs> so yeah, I I do that religiously. And then whenever I feel like I'm in the mood for any of the books that are on my bookshelf, I grab them and I reread them. So is there a book you found better when you reread it? I don't I wouldn't say better, but I think you find more specific little things that you didn't before, or because you know the outcome of the characters, the outcome of the book. And the plot twist you go back to it and you're like how didn't i not notice this from the beginning how didn't i notice that this character was such a big asshole <laughs> or something like that and you see all of the red flags and you're like of course <laughs> so you notice those little details when you reread it i don't know if it makes the experience better i think it just makes it different because the first time that i read something i'm just like completely letting myself get immersed in the reading and then the time that I go back and reread it I go in and kind of analyze more of the details analyze more of the characters in the first run I'm just there to like plot twist plot twist, what is happening and just like immersing myself in the story and then when I reread something I'm like holy shit I didn't notice this little detail I cannot believe that this character is doing this like you notice those little things that you didn't in the first read so I like rereading oh and one that was worse no I don't think so because <laughs> I already know like if you read something and you don't like it you are not gonna go and reread it oh this is like for school or something and still like if you read it like years ago and you have another assignment I wouldn't reread it if I didn't enjoy it I would just write my assignment and say how much I didn't like it and why and that's it <laughs> Um, which one book have you reread the most times? I think it would be... Oh. Actually, I have no idea how many times I've reread the books. It would be between The Shining, uh, The Hobbit, and the Harry Potter books. And then tag someone. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to tag Karen from Booklet. We have reread before. She's amazing. She's super sweet and nice and lovely and we have really similar opinions about some books so i'm tagging her to do this reread tag i should have thought about this before <laughs> i'm going to tag rachel from let me in the library she posts so little videos like i wish she posts like every single day <laughs> i'm not joking because i love her video she's so funny but i don't think she's going to make the tag because she posts so so little videos like where are you girl like post more like we want you here like we need you in the booktube world <laughs> uh, so if you feel like it you can post it if you don't feel like it you can post something related on twitter and just like tell us like the books that you want to reread and just tweet them out to me because <laughs> i actually want to know <laughs> we she's actually rereading the series of Unfortunate and Advance with me, we're buttering those, and it's a reread for her. But I would like to know what are the books that you feel like rereading the most, and you really need to post more. Anyways, <laughs> it was like a ramble on like, post more, Rachel. <laughs> oh no, that's so bad. And I want to tag Stephanie from Coffee Over Apples. You totally owe me a body read of a Stephen King book. I'll, I'll DM you, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but we need to body read some Stephen King together, number one. Uh, and number two, I hope you do this tag. She tagged me on the reading habits tag, but I've already done that, I think. 
<laughs> so in return, I am tagging you to do this reread reading tag thing. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you beautiful book dragons in my next video. Bye. <laughs>